Right, and really getting that management under control as we start to dig deeper into the driest part of our season, the hottest part of our season, and that turns to higher fire danger. Today, not so bad. We did have the winds, and that elevated things just a bit because those fires could spread so quickly, but temperatures remained in the upper 80s for the most part, a little warmer for Marysville and Oroville in the mid-90s, and then we were in the 80s for the foothills, 70s for the Sierra with mostly sunny skies. Those temperatures today starting to slowly climb, but we've stayed steady over the weekend just compared to last week when we had highs in the 70s and low 80s. These near 90 degree temperatures seemed a little bit on the warm side. Our average high at 87 degrees. A record territory though is deep into the 100s at this point in the season and that is where we're headed more in line with our records than say our average highs we're still looking at a big departure for rainfall and it's just a time to notice how dry things are getting with all the heat that we've had recently and the dry weather had a little bit of shower activity in the northern part of the state right along the california oregon border uh, driven by that low pressure system off the coast which also fed us with just a hint of that cooler pacific air tonight in the gilmore backyard we have lighter winds, clear skies, 66 for Sacramento, Stockton 65, 67 for Modesto, we're at 73 for Marysville and 57 for Tahoe. We're going to quickly turn our attention though to the heat that's building for the middle of the work week. Look at this. We've got this excessive heat watch that will start up Thursday afternoon, last through Saturday afternoon with highs ranging from 100 to 112 degrees possible records and very high heat risk. Here's a look at those contours and how they'll develop over the course of the next couple of days. And what you'll notice is a lot of red and magenta colors up there, especially by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, where we start to see some of the higher heat risk developing throughout the valley because of some of the biggest heat that we'll see during the week. High pressure ridges was driving these warm temperatures as that low starts to move off to the north of us. And so we're going to see sinking warming air, slight chance of a thunderstorm returning for the Sierra. But in the meantime, we're just going to wait and get to those afternoon highs peaking on Thursday and Friday. For tomorrow, highs will be in the low 70s for this year. We're in the lower 80s for the foothills with our five-day forecast showing highs almost near 90 by Thursday and Friday with a slight chance of a thunderstorm developing on Friday for this year. Along the coast, we've got a lot of fog actually for the morning and then partial clearing highs in the low 60s. But now you start to head inland or back into the 80s for tomorrow. Close to 90 in some locations, especially a little bit farther north and south and right along that I-80 line where we won't have as much access to that breeze coming in. Uh, morning lows will start us off right around 60. Pretty nice day actually to start us off for the Monday. How often is it, Kurt, that we look forward to a Monday? Because look <laughs> at what we have for the rest of the week by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We are approaching 110 and we're going to take those wow. temperatures all the way through Saturday.